Yes guys, welcome back to the channel today. It's going to be a news update for Aberdeen as some big news has came through today and that is that Yilbur Ramadani has signed for Aberdeen. It's an absolutely massive signing. I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, does that mean we'll skip out Graham Shinney? I hope not. But um, yeah, that's great to see that we've brought in Yilbur Ramadani and he will definitely be a big part of that Aberdeen midfield. He's probably gonna be. A, I think he must be a Ferguson replacement because Ferguson is gonna be. In, he's gonna end up going in the next five weeks, I'd say. Um, unless I don't know if five weeks is when the uh, new season starts, but um, I think uh, he sh Ferguson will go soon, and Ramsey will go soon as well. That Liverpool deal is basically almost done, but they, I mean they haven't even agreed terms yet, so you know it's quite far away. I don't know why I said that it's getting close, but it's getting closer. But they haven't even agreed a contract yet. Yeah, I don't think he's even been. To, uh, I don't even think Ramsey's been to Anfield yet. But yeah, um, and also um, another interesting thing is that Connor Barron could be going to Celtic now. It's highly unlikely, but he is on Celtic's radar now. Quick disclaimer: people may think it's a Celtic shirt. It's not. It's a Bucky Thistle shirt. Um, Bucky Thistle team in the You may have heard me speaking about it before on the, YouTube, on the channel. But yeah, just in case anyone thought it's a Celtic shirt, it's a Bucky Thistle shirt. Um, another big thing as well is that Aberdeen are interested in Liam Scales, who is a young left... I think he's a left back. Uh, he's a young defender who's um, is um, from Southern Ireland and he's plays, at Cel plays, at, plays for Celtic. And apparently he is in Jim Goodwin's plans. And... Honestly, I would definitely take Liam Scales. I haven't seen much of him at Celtic because um, I, he doesn't really been getting that much game time. So that's why obviously coming to Aberdeen could um, coming to Aberdeen could definitely get him a good amount of game time. And as well, another thing that could happen is that could mean that McKenzie could get dropped. Uh, that could also mean that. Um, Maybe Hayes, I think Hayes would probably end up getting played, Hayes will be stuck on that left wing because, let's not, let's move my chair back a bit, there's nowhere else Hayes can, Hayes can play left back, but he's more of an attacking player, I'd say. Um, now, I've heard reports now that uh, Hearts are in the driver's seat for signing Conor Rona, and this is not good. You would have thought that this deal would go, he would go to Aberdeen because apparently Jim Goodwin and him were best mates, but it turns out that's not the case. Well, I think it is the case, but it turns out that that's not enough to swim to come to Aberdeen. And we're still interested in Va Vaclav Hadke. Um, the rumours are coming back in now. Uh, obviously, I said, um, few, uh, I think two videos ago, that, that we hadn't heard much about them, and now we're hearing a lot more about them. So, I haven't heard anything on Vegan Charles Cook or Jamie McGrath, but mate, I think they're out the window. Um, definitely, Vegan Charles Cook must be out the window. Um, that's... Basically, yeah. Um, so, I don't actually have much to say about Yelpa Ramadani. I should have been a bit more prepared. But I will um, either, I most likely at the end, will find some clips of him and play them and just show you what he's like. If he's an Albanian international, I know, like, a country like Albania, you wouldn't, f like, some of the best players, regardless, would get chucked in the squad. But to be international, you have to be good. And he must be good. So I, I hope he's an attacking midfielder. I don't, because Aberdeen over the last couple of years, uh, excluding right, uh, over the past like two years, we've struggled for attacking midfielders. Ferguson's more of a box to box. Barron's more of a box to box. Uh, Jenks is sort sort of the solution to that. But we blew we blew um we blew him. Well, obviously when we had Madison and Ryan Christie, that was when we had that centre attacking midfielder that would get forward, provide help from the striker. We just don't have that now. And hopefully, Yilber Ramadani can provide that to probably Marley Watkins. I don't see Ramirez um, playing because I think he's going. And honestly, there's a, we definitely need to find a striker. And I'm, sh pardon me, and I'm sure Jim Goobin can find someone, pardon me, for that job. And let's just hope he's found someone good. And we still have we've uh, heard a little bit more news about Graham Shinney. It looks like he is. Looks like Aberdeen are the main uh, team because there's quite a lot of other teams interested in him. But apparently Aberdeen 
are one of the main ones, and you think when there's more teams down south you can get more money. It's Graham Shirley. He loves Aberdeen. I'm sh- I think he's coming back. I can. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna bet on it, but I'm gonna make a prediction. We will sign Graham Shinney in this summer window. So yeah, that is gonna be it for uh, the transfer update. Hope you guys did enjoy it, and now I will um, play some clips from Yelba Ramadani. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another video on my channel.